originally auditioned Paul Kelleher for the part of Dr Murdoch in Bane, um, which he didn't get because he wasn't quite right for it, but as soon as I heard that American accent, that deep gravelly voice, I knew I wanted to use him for something. Um, and when I was writing Medal of Horror, I knew I've got to put a part for Paul Kelleher in, he's got to be this hard um, American major, and he's brilliant. Um, I've had criticism for the uh, length of the water room scene. It's quite a long one, especially so early in the film. Uh, but I don't care. I just like listening to him talk. I could literally record him speaking, just listen to it. Anything he says sounds dramatic. He's like Michael Ironside on steroids, basically. He's got to be the scariest individual known to man, um, played by a fantastically talented guy. Um, yeah, it was great working with him. And... Uh, uh, as, a, as a character, however, he's um, a bit, bit of a knob. I found uh, Dave Wayman, who played George, online. Um, got him to audition. Um, it was a video audition, sent it through. Thought he looked the part. He's got a very um, sort of chiselled, handsome look, but he's also good at playing the coward. George is um, a very likeable, nice character uh, with decent intentions. Uh, but they come across very badly. So he ends up womanising a fair bit, um, and he seems to be a bit of a coward, but he's not a coward, he's just uh, living to fight another day. So today, uh, I've had the living shit beaten out of me about six times by two different people. Um, and I suppose the real challenge of that was having the shit kicked out of me several times by two different people. So yeah, it's it's been an interesting sort of couple of days. Um, it's freezing cold, by the way, might not look it, but it is absolutely Baltic here. Uh, so it's nice to be able to keep moving, actually, and, and be chucked around a bit, like an empty tracksuit. But yeah. Uh, OK, so Madame Raven, or Nurse Raven in this case, is in disguise. So she's holding herself back, and she's not quite the full raven-haired uh, mistress that she was in Bordeaux. So the last time I had um, a crossover scene, it was exactly the same set for all three of them. So I was uh, all day, whereas this is in and out, very quick. Jezebel, um, who I always knew it was going to be Tina Barnes. Tina Barnes has been in pretty much all of my films, bar one, I think. Um, she always dies, hopefully you're watching this after you've seen the film. Um, but she always dies, usually horrible, gruesome death. So she knows, when she gets the call from me, she knows she's going to end up covered in blood, basically. Um, and this film wasn't a change to that at all, so uh, you can rely on Tina, she's a very physical actor, um, so I know I can cover in blood and she'll also kind of bruise herself for me um, to make it look realistic. Action! <laughs> okay, and again. Right, Sam, don't turn till I say, alright? Okay. Okay, and... Uh, light out just a touch, Dave, that's it. And action. 